Hello, this is Claire again. We're going to do quite a tricky rotation this time. This is our third tutorial and I have constructed here an equilateral triangle which, with each side length six centimetres and I'm going to label it A, B and C. Over here two centimetres away I'm going to make the centre of rotation. So the centre of rotation is external to this shape. This time I'm going to rotate in an anti-clockwise direction which is to the left. So I'm going to rotate um, not 90 degrees, I'm going to rotate, rotate 60 degrees in an anti-clockwise which is to the left, anti-clockwise to the left for 60 degrees and there's my centre of, of rotation. So every time I do this I'm going to need three pieces of information, the direction, the degrees and the centre. Okay so it's going to go around here so I hope it doesn't bump into this writing but it might. Now we're going to use the same process as we did on our last um, tutorial and if you can imagine it's going to sort of go well there's 90 degrees so that would be maybe a 90 degrees that would be 180 so it's going to be up here somewhere it might actually overlap this shape a bit we'll follow the same process Draw A, a line from A to the center of the rotation. There it is. And now I'm going to need to find 60 degrees. Not so easy. So 60 degrees here is going to be 60 degrees from this point in this direction, not in that direction. So let's have a look at 60 degrees in this direction we put the center of the protractor on the center of rotation and this direction up here is anti-clockwise so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 put a dot okay take a line from the center of rotation and through that dot. So this angle here is 60 degrees and now I need to measure the same distance. The distance from A to the center of rotation is two centimeters so I'll need to keep that the same distance up here and mark off where the position of A prime is. So there's A prime. I need to do that with C and B. B is actually on that same line so that's kind of easy and this is the kind of things that can make life a bit easy for you. So let's put B on next because that could make it easy for us. So B is on that same line and it's eight centimeters from the center. And Maybe we need to extend this line a little and measure eight centimeters along. There it is. So that is B prime. Well, there's lots of little tricks I can do here. I could find the midway between these lines and a perpendicular line and somehow, therefore, I would be able to find C. But let's use the same method we did before. Draw a line from C to the center of rotation. Here it is. And we need to measure 60 degrees from that line. Putting the protractor right on the center of that line from C and going in an anti-clockwise direction around here, step off from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees. Put a dot outside the protractor remove the protractor and I need to go from the center of rotation through that line. So somewhere along that line will be C prime or the image of C and it will be exactly the same distance along that line 
as it is here, which is 72 millimetres or 7.2 centimetres. So measure 7.2 centimetres up here. Put a dot and quickly label that C prime. Okay, so joining A prime with C prime, and I think I'll use a blue color this time up here. Joining A prime with B prime. And B prime with C prime. And as you can see, it's still a really accurate equilateral triangle. So if I rotated it 180 degrees around O, I would expect it down here. If I So 120 degrees would be somewhere less than that, and we could project that also. Let's do... Um, Let's do 180 degrees. 180 degrees is quite easy because all you have to do is project the line from A and B straight across like so along the grid line. Not very accurate. Straight across on the grid lines. And we can just step off A and B in the same way. So it's 2 and 8. So 8 up here is B prime, double prime, and 2 away is A prime. So here's A double prime and B double prime. So C would be exactly on the same line from C through the centre of rotation through here straight through and somewhere along that line is C and it will be exactly the same distance. So we measured this before is 7.2. So if we measure 7.2 along here, we get C double prime. So joining those with blue, this here is 180 degrees rotation in an anti-clockwise direction and we have the image shape. A question for you. Would this be the same, this 180 degrees rotation in an anti-clockwise direction, would that be exactly the same if I went clockwise? What do you think? So perhaps there are some equivalent rotations here. I wonder how they work. That could be a question for another day. Thanks for your attention. Bye.